Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Houston's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. And he tackles him hard at the 17-yard line. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. If something had been open downfield, they might have taken a shot. But all the defense gave them was the short yardage play. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. Second and 13. From their own 35 yard line, it's second down. Complete, he's got room. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That'll bring up third and eight. It's third and eight. Ball on the 40. He goes downtown. Got his receiver. Touchdown. effort by the wide receiver and not to take anything away from the quarterback but the wide receiver made this play he splits the uprights with the extra point with a three play 62 yard drive and the result seven points central floor the kick sends it sailing downfield this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Knights are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on their own 23. Strike complete, he's down. Gain of six yards. Quick pass, brought down at the 36. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. 
coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. And he's immediately tackled. Here we go. 59 Philly. Looking for the corner, and he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Let's He throws left. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Gets it, but steps out and will lose yards. We're at play number nine of this current drive. First down, and they make the stop at the 32-yard line. That's the third time they've converted on third down on this drive. When you can stay on the field in these kind of situations, you're doing something right. He's hit and taken down. That's a team of 10 on the First down. He's taken down at the 15-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Looking for his man incomplete. Another third down upcoming, and they've converted all three this drive. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Quick thinking there. You know, they're liable to put the ball in the air on third, so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. It's up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Central Florida holds a four-point lead. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 32. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And down he goes, around the 44-yard line. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Roger, Roger. Mike's 50. Mike's 50. You're not ready. Red two. On the throw, incomplete pass. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Going deep, lays it out there. Oh boy, almost. 
almost intercepted. Number 10 breaks up the pass. That makes it fourth and down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. The Knights really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 34. Mike 41, Mike 41. Ready, get on! And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The defensive end came through to put him away. Nice job of utilizing his athletic ability to get in there and then make a sure tackle. it fly. Doesn't get there. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-3, Knights. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Oh, excellent punt. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Central Florida is up four. Six on the draw play. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. From the 36-yard line, first down. the left for a nice game. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. He's got it with room to run. Touchdown, you see it! converts the extra point. A five-play, 67-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's tackling at the 34. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings up third and 
brings up second and one. Tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Right there. Easy, 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 easy. Fuck you. Gets him open field. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. First down. Don't get nervous. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled right around midfield. Number 47 makes the tackle at the 50-yard line. Oh, yeah. That makes it second and two. Here we go again. Caught open field. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And a quick throw. He's out of bounds at the 29. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Brought down at about the 17 yard line. Game of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From the 17 yard line, it's first down. Gets to about the 14 yard line. Third and 11. Ball on the 17 yard line. And he's taken down around the nine yard line. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call, almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kick is up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Houston lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Central Florida is up by eight. Thank you. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. There's a strike complete. He steps out around the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, first down. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. He's 
taken down around the 13 yard line. to the 20. The Cougars know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas. Touchdown, Cougars. Another catch, and he's up to 100 yards now. Now, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. And there's still a lot of ball game to play, fellas. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And he goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Central Florida up by eight. He's to the 40. He's got an opening for the 20. He gets hit out of bounds around the 17-yard line. and 10 following that big run. Larry, Larry. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing. And as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Hit. Black, black. First down, he's knocked out. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 24-13, Knights. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both these offenses were off the chains in the first half. Defenses were completely powerless. David, you know I'm your biggest fan. I believe you're going to be a Hall of Famer someday. Great defender but every game wasn't perfect. I, I remember a freshman game that you had at Georgia against Florida. Gators kind of got it rolling. 
What's that like for a defense out there when, when you feel like they're a step or two or three ahead of you all the time? Well, it's frustrating. And a lot of times you don't have the answers. I mean, you sit there and you try new things and you try the stuff you tried all during the week and nothing works. And then you try something else and it doesn't work. And sometimes it's just that the better players are on offense and their schemes firing at a new level or a different level than you are and you, you can't keep up. But you got to find some kind of positive. you got to make some kind of big play. So you get that coach on the other side, maybe throwing his visor a little bit or getting upset. Like, okay, we didn't get there yet. I, 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 like, that. I like that big man. I got ball plays going to work. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? something big happened. First and ten. Ball on the 42. And down he goes. Around the 33-yard line. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. First and ten, ball on the 30. He's at the 20, gets out to around the 15. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Plenty of time, and now he's on the move. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. Number 82 was the intended receiver on the play. Here's the eighth play of the series. the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he throws it away. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Green, 
Quick throw. Tackle at the 49-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Ready! Throws a bullet over the middle. Good for a gain of six yards. That brings him second and five. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled around the 41 yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. Coming to you, coming to you. That'll bring up third and inches. They'll drop him for a loss. The option is all about timing. And on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. Ah! Had his hands on it and dropped it. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. I can't argue the play call. The defense just did their job by standing their ground. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Down. No way, no. Nice run there. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. Dog, four. Ooh, 20. Motion, motion, motion. Just throws this one away. Is one for the end zone. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he got it. One great kick, and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Short pass, middle of the field. They'll bring him down right around the 34. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. That brings up second and one. Caught open 
midfield, and he's tackled at the 44-yard line. That's a good First down. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Slings it right down, right around the 46-yard line. Number 37 makes the tackle at the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Here we go! Navajo! Navajo! Zips it to the back. Steps out of bounds at the 33. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. Mike, Mike. Get that quarterback! Uh -huh. Red 18! Red 18! Out of bounds, right around the 30. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it second and six. Three down, three down. Here we go. I got eight. I got eight. Black 98! He's out of bounds at the 27. That's three down and one to go. The Knights lead it by 17. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Mike 41, Mike 41. Ready, red 18. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. And he tackles him hard at the 17. Number 12 brings him down at the 17 yard line. First down. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 17. He steps out at the 15 yard line. Strike to the receiver, and he's level at the nine-yard line. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he's taken down at the three. Number 31 with the tackle at the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky 95. Touchdown, Houston. And he hits the PAT. A 13-play, 74-yard drive. And they come away with seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Knights are flying through this ball game. They have scored 23 unanswered points. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Second and six. Ball on the 29 yard line.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50. The halfback with a carry. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And they make the stop at the 41 yard line. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Dog four, yellow three, yellow three. Go! Shoved out of bounds at the 36-yard line. The halfback goes forward for about five yards there, and that gets him the first. That's some tough running there. He refused to go down after the initial hit. He's one of those backs that earns every single yard. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run from the 33-yard line. Second down. They've obviously found the formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. And goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and goal. From the five yard line, second down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Black five, black five. Seven, seven, seven. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, 30-20, UCF. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.